Yo, what's good? A Walker back at it again with another tutorial cook up video. Let's get it. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about this new beat and this new type of song that's trending on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. All these influencers are trying to use these beats for their videos, workout videos, DIY videos, etc., etc. It's kind of like a new sound that has kind of blossomed in the last year or so. Um, there's this really popular um, drill song that's exploding right now on TikTok. I'll play it for you guys right now. So yeah, that song, um, it's going crazy. Like it's it's blowing up right now. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about the new style and show you guys kind of what I would do if I were to cook up one of these beats that all these influencers want um so here i have a sample from my boy uh daniel sara he actually gave me this sample um it looks like it's a sample from x uh what are you afraid of i think what he did was he sped up the sample so it's at 140 bpm and he also pitched up the sample so it's kind of more high pitched um i'll play it for you guys so you can hear it So yeah, that's basically what the sample sounds like. Uh, and in this video, I'm going to be using my new drum kit. It's called the King's Key Volume 1, as you can see here on the left side of the screen. It's basically like a drill drum kit. I kind of made it for like a universal dr uh, drill sound. So you could use it for dark drill beats, pop smoke stuff, Central C, more happy stuff. Uh, it's very universal. But anyways, I just released this actually last week. So I'm going to be using only sounds from that kit. And without further ado, let's get into it. I'm just gonna listen to the sample and pick my drum sounds. Alright, so we got all the drum sounds picked out. First thing I'm going to do, always, to make your kicks hard and your 808s hard, you know this from my past videos. If you're a subscriber, you know this. If you're a new subscriber, if you want your kicks and your 808s to be hard, always go to the master channel and put Fruity Soft Clipper. Boom. It's that easy. Then all you got to do is just turn up the volume on your kicks, 808s, etc. So... That's step one. Step two, create a new pattern, put it down, highlight it, control B, control B, control B. Um, and then we're gonna do our hi-hat. Uh, it's a pretty generic layout for most drill beats. This is kind of it. So yeah, that's, that's the generic layout for drill hi-hats. It kind of sets the tone for the whole beat. It sets the tone for the whole mood of the beat. It, you, you shape it usually around the hi-hat. So it just makes life easier when you can just do it like that. Obviously, you can complicate it a little bit more. Put in a little sprinkle here and there just to make it more unique, which is actually what I'm about to do right now. Usually when I make a drill beat, I will put actually two hi-hats going, going at, at the, the same, same time. time. It, it just, just it makes, makes it a little, little bit more saucy. saucy. I'll, I'll show, show you right, right here. here. So, so what I'm going to do is literally just copy and paste that into my other hi-hat sound. So 
So, so I, I just like, like to use the paintbrush tool, tool at the top here. Just, just click, click one, one of the notes. So you, it, it kind, kind of like copy and paste it when you use the, the paintbrush tool. So it's easier to paint notes in. This is what it would sound like. So that's a pretty generic hi-hat melody. I might come back later in on the video, uh, but I'm just going to get right into the beat. I'm going to start with the kicks, all that stuff right away. I'm going to lay down the, the claps. There's also like a staple um, layout for drill claps too. I'll show you guys. It's pretty easy to pencil in just here on the step sequencer. That's literally it. And then copy and paste it. What I did there is I just went to bar, I highlighted the notes, press shift, and then left click the notes, and boom, go right over to the other side. And what I just did there with these hi-hats was I actually put the hi-hats in key. Um, a lot of producers actually don't know that they should be putting their claps and their hi-hats in key. I know a lot of people will kind of have a hard time hearing whether or not drum sounds are in key. Obviously, the 808 is one thing. You can put it up two octaves, and it's easy to, to hear if it's in key or not. But in terms of claps and hi-hats, it's kind of hard to hear if it's in key. You kind of have to have an ear for it. I don't really know how else to explain it, but if you have a good ear for pitches and stuff like that, um, you should have no problem with putting your, your claps and your hi-hats and stuff like that in key. So anyways, back to the beat. So what I just did there, just to make your kicks hard, uh, remember obviously I put the soft clipper on the master, turn up the velocity all the way on the kick, Go to the kick, the top right of this little box here, go to track, click track, it'll send it automatically to its own mixer track. Just turn down the volume a little bit on there, and what I like to do with this specific kick, the crunk kick, is I like to put a little bit more low end and kind of take out the mid range on it. I like to do this with most of my kicks actually, it kind of just makes it a little bit more bouncy, but this is what it would sound like. Alright, so what I'm going to do before I kind of spice up the beat with the perks and the open hats and stuff like that is I'm actually going to lay down the 808s. And a lot of people actually are kind of intimidated by drill beats because of the 808 patterns. Sometimes the 808 patterns are kind of complicated and it kind of scares off um, a lot of producers. But I kind of have a, a little bit of a method in terms of uh, making it easy to lay down your your. 808s in your subs and to make them unique um, first thing you're going to want to do obviously is you're going to want to find the the root notes and then you're going to want to put down just a basic bass melody and then on top of that melody that's when you spice it up you add the slides and stuff like that so i'm just gonna try to find the bass notes here so what i just did was i just raised it up two octaves you just highlight the note uh, press control and then up on your keyboard and it sends it up So that's kind of like the bass 
um, like sub melody I would put down for the beat. And I'm just going to merge these patterns together. Again, highlight it. Control G merges the patterns together just so you can kind of make the second part of the drum loop more unique. <laughs> So now that we got the bass notes down, I'm going to show you guys my method to adding 808 slides and just spicing it up a little bit. So first thing I'm going to do is kind of stutter the first note. Alright, so now that we got that down, what you're going to want to do to slide your 808s easier, just place a note, make it a little bit small, like, just like that. What I did there was I held Alt and left click. You can make the note however small or big you want. Make it kind of small. You don't, don't put it all the way down, but you know, make it just a little tiny note. Double click it and then um, click both of these little, I don't know if you guys can see it sometimes on OBS when I record, the window doesn't pop up, but there's a little triangle um, symbol and then there's a little wave symbol. There's two buttons. Click them both in so they're both red. And basically what that does is it enables the note to slide. And I usually like to add slides on like kind of like the last note. So let's see how this sounds. We, we kind of have to play it by ear and just find the right notes. But let's see how this sounds. Again, I'm just gonna put it up two or three octaves just to see if it's in key, if there's the right notes. Yep, sounds like it's in key. did there is I kind of just spiced up the 808s a little bit. I think that's pretty good. I, I don't like to go too crazy on the 808s and stuff like that. Um, I know a lot of drill beats, you kind of have to go crazy, but like, nah, I don't really, I, I think for this beat, that's good enough. Keep it simple. The artists really like it when the beats are simple. So I'm just going to send that sub to the mixer. Uh, just raise the volume a little bit. Now I'm going to start just spicing up the beat with some of these perks. Uh, what I like to do with this open hat is I like to send it to the mixer and actually put a delay on it. And then with the delay, I put it right here at the halftime. With the delay, I put a little bit of an offset. I think that's what OFS means. I'm not really sure what OFS means, but I'm guessing it's some sort of pan offset. Just drag it to the right a little bit, and it basically sends the open hat between both of your ears like when you're listening. Let's turn on the volume a little bit. This is what it would sound like. And I'll 
also like to do that with the secondary hi-hat. I forgot to mention that in the beginning. I like to add a little bit of a pan. So what I do is I go to Fruity Panomatic, go to Pan, turn up the amount all the way, and then do about halfway speed, just crank it to the right. And what it does is it automatically pans the hi-hat. Just makes It just spices up the beat a little bit. So it sounds like this perk that I just put in is a little bit off key. You can just go into the sound and just turn up the fine tune a little bit just to make sure it's in key. Alright, so that's pretty much it for the beat. What I'm going to do is just quickly arrange it for you guys so you guys can listen to kind of what the end product would sound like. But yeah, you kind of get the gist of it. Like you could hear a, a guy from the UK rapping on this, but at the same time, you could also hear this blowing up on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, stuff like that. Because I don't know, influencers really like this stuff. Influencers really like the sound of sampled uh, vocals and stuff like that. Drill beats. It, it's kind of like a, a new trendy sound. So without further ado, I'm just going to arranges all right so this is what the final product would look like it's just a basic hook verse layout bridge a little bit of an extended intro um, but this is basically what it would sound like And yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Thank you for tuning in. And again, any of the sounds you heard in this video are from my The King's Key uh, drill drum kit. Link is in the bio, along with all my other drum kits. You can check out my website, browse through everything. If you want, you could literally pick up the All Kits bundle. Um, it's always going to be $100, no matter how many kits I provide. It's always going to be $100. That's like